So we just discussed the number of distribution channels available to a startup, and we talked about picking one. But what's really interesting is the solution complexity that each channel can handle. That is, system integrators are designed to handle complex systems. And so therefore, on the x-axis, we see increasing complexity of what each channel can actually handle. And what's the sales and marketing complexity of each sale on the y-axis? So for example, system integrators are great for putting in defense systems or telecom systems that require hundreds or thousands of moving parts and software and hardware. Or on the other extreme, the complexity of selling toner over the web. Incredibly simple, simply consumers already know what they want, and the channel just simply is there to fulfill end user demand. And the marketing complexity, you simply just say toner for your printer. So when we look at a sales channel, we talk about what's called value added. How much value is the channel adding? And as we go up this curve, we're seeing higher value added at each step. Web, telesales, almost no value added. Retail maybe adds a little support. VARs, a lot of integration and support. Direct sales, that's a direct connection to your factory. System integrators, not only supporting and service and integrating your products, but potentially tens of others. So each portion of this channel is adding higher and higher value. Now what's interesting is this higher value added comes with a cost. Typically, higher volume systems are at the low end. So you might be selling hundreds or hundreds of thousands of cases of toners, but you might be doing 10 large system integrations a year. Some more examples, retail channel might carry PCs, uh, VARs might do video editing systems that are turnkey. For direct sales though, this is the anomaly. Remember, these are the salespeople who work for you directly. One of the interesting things that you'll be considering later is how much you're paying your salespeople and how many dollars they need to be bringing in every year to justify their existence and bringing a profit to their company. So this ends up to be an interesting calculation. Your direct salespeople can actually be the one talking to the consumers directly, or they could be the ones selling to system integrators, VARs, retail, and web and telesalespeople. And so this is a math problem we'll think about in the coming discussions.